Hey guys, it's Bunny from BunnyCates.com and this is a book haul. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to end up with two book hauls for the month of March. So this is my first book haul for March. Uh, it's going to be a long one, so get yourself a drink, fire up a smoke, do what you do when you watch videos. Hands where I can see them. Thank you. Anyway, so these are some of the books that I've gotten in over the last two weeks. I got a lot of review copies in and a couple of wins. Yay! So let's check them out. Ready? The first book I got, I was sent for a review from Quirk. This comes out March 26th. It is Jokes Every Woman Should Know. This is a little joke book. It's really funny. I read it in like an hour. There's not a whole lot of... Um, text going on in there but this is really cute it is hilarious and I think it would be a great like gift book when you you know everybody's got those people that they're not really sure what they should get them when they need to be buying them a gift I think this would be a great idea so this was really funny I was sent Dark Eyes by William Reichter from Razorville this is going to come out February the 21st and then I was sent these books by the author of Finding Angel and The Seeking Unseen. Love the covers. They are those uh, buttery covers that we all love so much. This is a YA series. The author's name is Kat Peckenbach. I know I just butchered that. It's okay, though. She's super nice. Make sure you follow her on Twitter and pick these up. I've not read them yet, but they are YA and they sound really good. So I'm looking forward to diving into these guys. Putnam sent White Lines. This is going to come out April the 4th. I can't really read my chicken scratch. No idea what it was about so because I've not read it. So I wish I could give you guys some details. I can't other than April 4th. You can have this one too. This one made me squeal a little bit. This came from Putnam. It came out March the 7th. It is Orleans by Sherry L. Smith. I cannot wait to read this book. I didn't get it until like the 5th, so I've not read it yet. I don't know. You know, I can't tell you guys if it's good or not. I just know the sucker has been on my wish list since last year, and I literally squealed out loud when I pulled it out of the package. So pick it up. I think you should. Putnam also sent me New Lands. This is book two in the Chronicles of Egg. This is an upper middle grade book and it's coming out May 2nd. I have no idea what the series is about. I have not read the first one. I really like the cover. There's you know giant iguanas on it and stuff so I'm going to try to pick up the first book so I can give this one a read. Scholastic sent Rotten by Michael Northrup. This came out no, this is coming out April 1st. Uh, it is about a boy who adopts a dog. That's all I know. I love the cover. I love the cover. Reminds me of Cujo, but it's YA, so I'm sure it's not scary. Hofflin and Milflin sent me Dark Triumph by Robin Lefevers. This is book two in the Grave Mercy series. I cannot wait to read this. I just read Grave Mercy last week. Loved, loved. So I can't wait to read this. I... I'm putting off starting it though until I write my review for Grave Mercy. That way, when I sit down and write the reviews, I won't be getting the books confused as to what happens in which book. But that's the only reason I haven't started reading this. Like, I literally wa I walk by it and pet it every time I go past it. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> I just want to read it. I do, but I'm too lazy to write the review for Grave Mercy. So, this too must wait. I'll do it. I will read it soon though, because yes, this, me, we're spending some quality time together. I was sent The Silver Door by Emily Rada. This is actually an author that my daughter likes. This is the same author that writes the Del Toro Quest books. So I'm looking forward to reading this. This is a book two in the series. I've not read book one yet, so I'm going to have to pick up book one before I can read this one. This came out, no, it's coming out April 1st, so it's not out yet. Pick it up. Harcourt also sent me Frog by Vivian Von Veld. This is the cutest cover I have ever seen. How cute is that? And I thought it was hilarious. I got this in the mail literally like two days after I finished reading Froggy Style by J.A. Kazmer. Froggy Style, totally grown up, dirty jokes, whatever. Frogged, middle grade. I don't care. Great cover. I can't wait to read it. It sounds really cute. 
And then the day I got this, I was opening packages in the car. I've got The Raven Boys by Megan Steve Otter. Uh, book two in this is either just came out or it's fixing to come out. This came out last year. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already read it. This has been on my wish list. And when I opened the package, I went, hadn't been expecting a package that day. So when I opened it up and pulled this out and it was in there, I squealed. Literally, my husband almost drove into a mailbox because he wasn't expecting his wife to squeal very loudly from the passenger seat and then he was like whatever and I was like shut up whatever you just don't understand and I was all petting it in the car and he's convinced I'm crazy but that's okay we all have our fetishes mine just happens to be books 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 I love books like I said this is book one in the series book two is fixing to come out I think I don't think it's out yet I was sent the phantom of the post office this is 43 old cemetery road this is a series this is coming out April the 2nd it is a uh, middle grade I think it's um I think it's supposed to be like goosebumps but it's on a younger maybe a younger level see the writing how it's real big and there's images this is book four in the series. I hope they are not in chronological order. Like you have to read them in order because I really want to read this, but I don't have the first three, but I need to read this to see if I want to backtrack and buy the first three. Does that, ma does that make sense at all? Um, I'm going to read this even though I don't have the first ones. I usually don't do that, but this is too cute to not read. So I'm definitely going to read this one. And then good old Tor sent me Pandemonium. This came out, uh, no, it's coming out March 13th. So no, March 19th. So this isn't out yet. Uh, the synopsis for this, if you saw that movie, um, the cave and then there was another one called uh the descent you know where people go down in these uh caves and there's crazy critters in there that you know they're not nice yeah that's what this book is about i don't know if it's just about creatures from this world or aliens or what but the synopsis you know they definitely run into something down in this cave so i can't wait to read it because i love both of those movies they freak me out like when when you say what kind of scary movies scare you the stuff from the un unknown, like um, going underwater. Remember that old cheesy movie, Deep Star Six? Frack, I love that movie. Because uh, they blow up the cave, and then there's this animal that's been, you know, growing in there since dinosaur time on its own, and they didn't know. They let it out. And then the damn thing's eating everybody in the water. That's what I'm talking about. Stuff you don't know. Because you don't know what's in these caves. You don't know. So I can't wait to read this. I, I, Tor also sent Quintessence by David Walton. I, I'm not sure what this is about. I want to say it is has something to do with um, dragons. I don't remember. Ugh. I'm not going to read the synopsis to figure out so I can tell you. I want to say it's about dragons. Uh, this came out, no, it's coming out March 19th. It's not out yet. Uh, my son, like, I've had to make my son put it up twice because I haven't hauled it yet, so I don't want him dragging it off to get it lost. But he is, like, foaming at the mouth to read it. So I can't wait for him to read it, hear what he thinks about it, and then I'll pick it up and read it. So it, this will be a good family read because I love high fantasy. So, uh, and then to whoever packaged this at tour, like, I don't know who packages their stuff but they sealed the jacket in the package so and you know in the glue on the package so the jacket was just crushed all to hell and then there's package it's part of the package I'm gonna have to get some glue gone or something to try to get that off and then the jacket is all tore up I was like oh bummer which you know I shouldn't complain because they sent it to me as a review copy I did not pay for it but still I was like come on whoever packaged that knew, knew that they did it because the book the jacket was folded up inside the book inside the package so they sealed it f***ed it up and then, you know, realized what they did and then opened it and put it in a totally different package. So come on, Tor. Come on. You can do better than that. I love you guys. Don't don't start doing this kind of stuff because then I might not love you so much is all I'm saying. And then the people at Quirk sent me Wedding Dogs, a celebration of holy matrimony. This is the cutest thing. People have dogs in their weddings. And basically, this is a coffee table book. It's full of pictures. This is going to come out. April the 16th, and I have to tell you, it is the cutest freaking thing I have ever seen. And I am now convinced more than ever that I want a French Bulldog. I'm trying to find this picture of this French Bulldog. I will show you. Look, pugs. Uh -huh. Cute pugs. Um, 
it's just a book. Like, one page will be a picture, and then the other page will be the story about that dog. Like, I literally read this in, like, a half an hour. It was not, it's not long. Look, how cute is that stinker? I want it. They will be mine. You will be mine. My husband, every time my husband was in his office, when I was looking through this book, and every time he would tell me, go, oh, he'd yell down the hallway, whatever it is, you're not getting it. I was like, shut up, I will. You don't know. And then, uh, yesterday from Philomel, I was not expecting any packages yesterday. Well, that's not true. I was expecting some microphones because I do have an order out from Amazon, but I wasn't expecting books yesterday. So I got books in the mail and then UPS dropped off books. So yesterday was a really good day. But some of the books that UPS dropped off, this is coming out June 18th. It is called Proxy by Alex London. And then they also sent, this is from Razor Bill. This is coming out July 2nd. It's Silo by DJ McHale. And if you're on my Facebook, you saw me say, oh my gosh, Razorville are like mind ninjas. Because I was just talking about DJ McHale not four or five days ago. I was talking about, because I have, he wrote a series called um, The Pendragon Adventures. And I read the first book, my son read the first book, but we haven't picked up the rest of the series yet. And I was telling somebody how much I wanted to pick up the rest of the series. And I just thought it was funny that yesterday another DJ McHale book came. So, Razorbill, my ninjas, thank you. I can't wait to read it because he's a very good author. Very good. And then if you follow my Twitter um, last week, week before last, the Pitch Dark book people were doing a spring cleaning and they had like a live chat and they were giving away tons of like books and arcs that they just had sitting around the office and they picked 15 winners and I was one of the winners ah, so big thank you to Pitch Dark Books they sent me the Courtney, Al Courtney Allison Moulton books which is Angel Fire get where you can see it shoot Angel Fire Shadows in the Silence, and Wings of the Wicked. I think this is awesome because this is the author. If you follow Lindsay Mead's channel, Lindsay goes to this chick's um, signings every time the girl does it near Lindsay. So Lindsay has all her books signed. And last time she was going to go, I, I was going to buy all these books and have Lindsay take them with her to get them signed. But it fell on a bad week for us and we didn't have extra money. So I didn't get to get any books. So I didn't get any signed. But now I have all the books. Check three books off my wish list, please. And the next time this girl has a signing near Lindsay, I am going to make a little road trip, go visit my internet bestie, and go get some books signed. So, big thanks to Pitch Dark Books for sending me these. Awesome, awesome. And that's it. If I counted right, I just showed you 20 books. I, I say all the time I don't want to do a book haul every week because I don't get enough books to do it. But what happens is, is when I do have enough books to do a book haul, I don't feel like doing a video. So if they sit there even longer, and then the book haul just gets huge. So I think I might have to start... We'll say do a book haul every two weeks, even if I've only got like three or four books, because they're building up and it's just making a mess. It's making a mess. Like this time, literally, this is the cubby where I put books when I need to haul them. It was literally like stuff was hanging out. I had books over and books under. There was just too much. Too many, too many books. I'm not complaining, but you know. Anyway, uh, that's it. This is my, I guess I'll say the beginning of March book haul. I'll be back in a couple of weeks with another one. So how about it? What books have you gotten in lately? Did you see anything I got that you think I should bump to the top of my read it right now list? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching you guys. See ya.